underestimated. So I think we're good. This year, I believe so. So uh, I'll get on mic too. Okay. And was. Hey, Mike. Hey, Roman. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Different, hey, different mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, and uh, did really well. I mean, he, you know, he's good. Um, oh, it's hard to tell. They had his life. Three. Had some incredible athletes. Some of the best players in the state. Yeah. Yeah. And when you so need to get up there, just give me a nod, you're telling me where you put but, that down. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Coaches and managers are meeting out at the plate right now. And then kind of go over, like, no, he's kind of between mission and market. Like, if, okay. if okay. mission and market go like this, yeah. as you get further, you got more. Okay. Yeah, okay. The okay. neighborhood's called mission. Okay, cool. I was, uh, I was in, uh, like, this bay the whole time. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then we're traffic and stuff. It's like it could be, you might as well live in New York, you yeah, know, pretty much. It's like, oh, I don't know if I can make it over. I don't know if I can make it down myself. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I've got it over there. I just left it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, like you said, pretty, pretty, pretty condensed. It's cool. Oh, it's important. It's, uh, yeah, I traveled, I traveled a lot in the Bay. It's great. It's Can't, you know, it's, I, I move very much every day, so I haven't really got to experience everything, but I'm excited. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm excited to see what we're going to do. So you coach the CBC or the first help on the team? Right, this year I'm just helping these guys with freshman who's excited. I do a little bit of work, like testing and stuff. Looking at where they stick in the job and hang out. Um, so it's, it's pretty minimal. The game about to get underway. Well, you missed all the excitement at the court, uh, uh, Corbin Carroll. You know, I did. I did miss that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was in our little league. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but uh, I'm excited to be up here. I'm so glad to be calling this paper. Last year, you know, uh, I was the head coach down in my school. And, uh, just do a little bit of paperwork here, make sure everything is in order, have everything I need. Thomas Taylor been here to help me get the a live stream rolling. That's it. Here comes Connie Ficus and her sidekick. Who's that? Hugo. Hugo. Connie Ficus and Hugo Ficus are here. Oh, and there's Michael Ficus. Green. We 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 uh we games you know sometimes you know stream through uh, game changer or games for uh, Little League yeah and I'm like yeah yeah it's uh I, I don't know when we uh when we finish it we put it up on the YouTube channel as well and, so and we're, we're inching really closer, really closer, 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 closer to first pitch as the Lions have taken the field Maple Moody to the mound James Lazar behind the plate. Umpire getting a last couple of words in with, uh, with his counterpart. Uh, Coach Kellen Sundin wants to clarify perhaps some ground rules for the uh, for the game with the umpire. Not privy to that conversation, but usual housekeeping things that sometimes go on before a game. So I can flip it so like if I don't want to record it. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so like Mitt, so he maybe he was, he was an artist. He was an artist. As well. Yeah. I've heard that that's, that's like a big powerhouse. You'll notice this mound out there seems quite tall. It seems too tall to me. It looks like the pre-1968 mound. Nineteen sixty-eight was the year that uh, one of the weakest hitting years uh, in in, uh, in that era until recently. And one way they decided to level things out was to lower that mound. But we're ready to go here from the 
mound. We have Maple Moody into the wine. Here comes his first pitch. Ball's hit out to shortstop. Sebastian David waits on it, throws a seat across the diamond. And one pitch and one out. was Hunter Dowdy, the second baseman. Uh, adding second, number two, Reeve Boyd, shortstop. <laughs> Here comes Moody's pitch. Oh! And I got a piece of Boyd, and he's on his way down to first base. Up high on the right side should be playable. And Jack. Jack was not able to track it down. He was the first one there, but couldn't quite grab it and squeeze it. So it's just a dramatic strike. Who's that another player? Number 24, Jaden Holloway, is the batter. Holloway had a big game against the Lions on Monday. Here comes the pitch. Breaking ball bounces in. There goes the runner. Throw down. And it's safe at second base on the Miss Q. One ball, one strike. I was saying Holloway had a big game on Monday, had a home run followed up by a double. Runner at first, one down. Breaking ball misses. Two balls, one strike. Long look in by Moody to get his pitch. Check of the runner, here it comes. Inside corner for a strike, even to count at two and two. Comes the pitch. Hit out into center field. Guyan closes on it, gets the ball back in. Two down, runner at second base. Let's go, Ben. Catch it in. Brings up Ben Porter. Brother of Luke Porter, former Lakeside Lion. Whose father is standing next to us watching the game and cheering on his son. And foul ball. Ducks under a pitch that was headed for his helmet and it got the bat. Number eight, Alex Howard on deck. Port of Port playing right field today for the Panthers. Check of the runner, here comes Moody's pitch. Breaking ball stays too high, even to count one and one. Well, they were happy about playing in that division. Pop it on it. Foul. Now to play into the parking lot behind us. Count of one ball, two strikes to Ben Porter. Runner out there in scoring position at second base. I, you know, I'm just going to stand right in the middle. That's right, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's good. He's just coming from practice. Uh, I think he had practice 430 to 6. And a turn back and check of the runner. Oh, oh. 
Comes the pitch. Foul on a play. Count still one and two. Thomas? Yes. I was talking a little bit in our truncated pregame about this mound. This looks tall to me. This looks like larger than the usual mound, unless you're talking pre-1968. What do you think? It's probably regulation, but most of the dirt mounds just get worn down. So Here comes lower. the pitch. Breaking ball hit in the right field. Right at the right fielder. Backs up, takes it in, and the inning comes to a close. No hits, no runs, no errors. One man left coming to the home half of the first at Whitman. No score. Yeah, so I, my guess is that's actually regulation height. Um, I've pitched off it, doesn't, so doesn't a, feel uh, odd. Just a uh, optical illusion? Well, I think the dirt mounds that most of the fields have, they get worn down over time, so they're actually low. Yeah, most mounds are low. Wow. What kind of tools will we need to measure? <laughs> You could probably do it a few different ways. Yeah, it's like at a board, level it, and then stack things up. It's, it's so interesting. I mean, cause, I mean, I've seen every yeah. other dirt mound I've seen. Like, like that, yeah, they they just you don't you don't really think about it because they're you know they they all pretty much look the same. Yeah. But if they're not if a mount if a dirt mound isn't regularly kept up and new clay added and tamped down and watered and everything they mm -hmm. Wear down real fast. No, the dirt around the rubber, the rubber should stay the same though. No, the whole thing will, the the whole thing, will sink. Yeah. The whole thing will sink, yeah. Sometimes you'll see the rubber actually up above. That's if it's, it's really poorly maintained, but no matter what, over time, the whole thing sinks. Interesting. Is that out of the question? The mound could be out. I'm, I'm it's not out of the question. No, it's not out of the question. But okay. usually with the turf mound, they put it at regulation and it doesn't, it doesn't look like a lot. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Top four teams, you got to bracket made it. So that was an interesting conversation. We're trying to figure out about that. Uh, the, the, the last stream? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'd like to just bring it out. Hang on, I'll just give it to you. Oh, that works too. Put it back in there when you're done. Long gap here between innings. What's uh, something going on? Just there we go. Alright. Yeah. man? There we go. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Oh, I'm Jim. Jim. Yeah. All right, Lions turn. Here we go. Hayden Deary to play facing. Young Mr. Grant Cunningham. Here comes the first pitch. Ball is away. One ball, no strike to Deary. Ground ball head over to the first baseman. That's a comeback. Uh, comeback, or he's going to just take it himself to the bag. It's going to be a three unassisted. Oh, one up, one down. Brings up shortstop number 12, David Sebastian. Long look in by Cunningham. David asked for timeout. Comes the pitch. Inside. And it's right. 
The even's kind of 1-1. One, one. Ball hit hard in the right field. Right fielder on the run, but he's going to get there. He does not. Falls down. The ball gets past him. Sebastian on his horse. He's heading for third. Here comes the throw. He slides. Gets past the third baseman. He's safe. Play is backed up by the pitcher. And David cannot score a triple. Maple Moody to the plate. Moody homered it his uh, in the game on Monday as well. Runner third, one down. Ball is up and away. from the stretch, here comes the pitch. Gets away, here comes the runner. And he's gonna score. Yeah, if it was outside of his knees and slash. One nothing lines on that wild pitch by Cunningham. And the strike. Two balls, one strike to Moody. That ball is up. Three and one. Comes to three one. Ball four. And the Lions have another base runner here, and it's going to bring James Lazar, the Lions catcher, batting cleanup today to the plate. Runner at first, one out, one in. Check of the runner. Pitch finds some black and is called a strike. Owen one to Lazar. And another, just like the other. No balls, two strikes to Lazar. The same place, up and down, just a little bit higher. Bryce Guy in center fielder. Check the runner. Come to pitch. Poked in the right field. Right field going to be to get there. He is. He'll get this one. A lot of activity, but just the fun. F9. Two down. Nice guy. Toss over to get the runner back. <laughs> Cunningham has a sidearm move to first base. A little bit under sidearm, just a hint of sub submariner on that one. Comes the pitch. Strike. And the game. All in one. 
Smith walking Moody. Cunningham's gotten ahead of the next two hitters. Okay, buckling down here, trying to keep the, trying to limit the damage. And another strike, 0 and 2. Always fascinating to watch these young men dig down deep and uh, hang in there when they're on the ropes sometimes. Comes a pitch. Ball is low. Gets past the catcher. One ball, two strikes, and Lazar moves down to. I'm sorry, Moody moves down to. Thank you. Moody moves down to second base. Chopper out to the first baseman. He's going to have to shovel it off to the pitcher. And the side is retired on the 3 1 put out. One hit. One run, no errors, one man left. At the end of one, one nothing, Lakeside Lion over the Seattle Prep Panthers. to work here. Alex Howard leading off the top of the second. Ball is high. Lazar tried to frame it. Come the pitch. And hit out to right field. Right fielder backing up. Camps under it. One hands the ball. One up, one down. Here comes the wine in the pitch. Inside and a little high. Pitcher Grant Cunningham at the plate. One ball, no strikes to Cunningham. Breaking ball drops in. For a called strike. One ball, one strike. Here comes. Hard the ball play Way high. Two and one. Line drive foul over the Panthers dugout. Even to count at two and two. Yeah. 
for the most part, are really good at things. Now, once you get into like, like that good guy, the bullpen, the, yeah, when you're playing like four games in a weekend and you're drunk, it, you, you'll have some high scoring games. Took something off of that pitch, fouled on the play. Yeah, Luke's actually the best pitch on the team. He actually still puts it down. Low and inside, gets away from the catcher, evens the count. Not even the count, but brings the count. Oh. Three balls, two strikes. Here comes. Bounces in, and Cunningham held up his swing and earns the base by way of the walk. And the prep umpire has a question for home plate umpire discussing something. Always love to be a bug on the wall for that one. Oh, we got a pinch runner coming in for Cunningham. I don't know the exact rule for that, but for some reason it needed to be discussed. I think they were discussing why they All right. So the speculation here is that the discussion was whether a courtesy runner can be allowed for a pitcher. <coughs> we don't know the response, but we do have a pinch runner. Number four, Ivan. Alan Dogan is pinch running for Cunningham. Moody steps off the plate, looks Alan Dogan back. Comes a pitch, the ball is high. Comes the pick. Low. Two balls, no strikes. Moody struggling a little with his control here. Comes the pitch. There it is. And stop. Great stop there by Deary. Gets in his glove, pops out, picks it up, double clutches, gets to, to um, Jack Rosenberger in time for the force out, but could not get back to first in time to complete the double play, so it's a 5-4, feels his choice. That was Zach Harding coming to the play Jack Cahill. Ball is high, runner at first, two down. There's a strike, one ball, one strike. Oh no, I'm alright. I'm just, I'm, I'm watching you for something. Okay. Chopper, that's going to be Moody's. Going to catch it and run it towards the bag, underhanded. The guy in for the third out on the 1 3 put out. In which the runs, no errors, one man left coming to the bottom of the second, 1 0 line.
lines will bring the six, seven, eight hitters to the plate here in the bottom of the second. Quinn Brannon, Nathan Williams, and Shwashwai Lee. Still young. <laughs> and you, hey, welcome back. <laughs> and Glenn Brannan steps into the plate, up to the plate, ready to face uh, Grant Cunningham. Bottom of the second here at Whitman Middle School. Comes the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Whitman Middle School. Now, do they need a baseball field this large? They have one. They have one. <laughs> They can invite their big friends. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball chopped down to the third baseman. Picked up there, thrown across quickly. Pulls the first baseman off the bag. And the first baseman does a swipe tag to get Brennan, and he is retired. One up, one down. Nathan Williams, right fielder to the plate. Strike call on Williams. Chopper out to short, charges hard, throw across. Two up, two down. Shwai Lee, Lions left fielder. Been pretty busy this year, been on the bases a lot. Enjoys uh, the center to right field zone. And then the number is now back. 0 oh, and 2 to Lee. Comes the 0 2 to Lee. Strike three call, inning is over. Three up, three down. No hits, no runs, no errors. Coming to the top of the third. Same score as the last time. One to nothing. One to nothing Lions, that is. Feel free to you can toss my jacket wherever. Okay. I'm not worried about I'm it. Also for the thing. <laughs> are those your water bottles? Um, yeah, those are me. Yeah. Maybe just put them in front of the iPad or something. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for the bullpen trip to clear and we're ready to get underway. And Moody's first pitch to the number nine hitter, Carson Teese drops in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Pitch. Swing and miss a breaking ball. One up, one down. And we'll move, move to the top of the order. And Hunter Dowdy, leadoff hitter, returns to the plate. Ground down to short on the first pitch he saw from Moody. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Breaking ball for a strike. Is this the take? It is. Can I? You, you should. You better get that and get up there. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Pitching way high. One ball, two strikes. Two down. Chopper Moody's going to get it and run to the bag himself. He was heading that way. No point in making an exchange there, and it's a one unassisted. Two up, two down. <laughs> Number two hitter Reeve Boyd. Moody hit him in the uh, first inning. <laughs> Good looking breaking ball, but fell just a little short apparently. One ball, no strikes. Had the strike. Even the count, one one. Sunglasses and chocolate. Yeah. You said I'm okay. Are they in a case or anything? No, they're just loose. <laughs> two balls, one strike. Two boy. Swing and a miss. Even to count. Two and two. Yeah, yeah. ball swung on the mist and the lines are headed for the dugout. A couple of strikeouts this inning for Moody. And Lions gonna come to bat in the bottom of the third. No hits and runs, no errors, nobody left on base. And 
Lions coming to bat. He played at UW, but he was the best. Yes. He was a guard short guy, but he was like a half. I can't remember. Hey, 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 let's go. New Hill! New Hill! I just walked out of the house. Yeah. 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 Now, what, what uh, year is your son? Um, so they just pulled him out. Yeah, 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 I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, he's a junior. Junior? Yeah. He does a really good job keeping balance. Yeah. Yeah. 22's in the game pitching. They keep the DH. Thank you, Blue. Yeah, he would have pitched against uh, Lakeside on Monday, but they were doing a big retreat. The school was doing a retreat to the juniors. So he did pitch on Monday. So I see. I see. He'll pitch against Lincoln. I remember this is just, just a, kind of a box yeah, star. Yeah, yeah. I got you. More of a more of a bullpen yeah. kind of appearance than yeah. anything else. Yeah. And he went somewhere else. He could be in play. So they don't play. He's trying to get him. He's trying to get him. Oh, okay. He went to Little League. Did you upgrade the setup? Did you upgrade the setup? Yeah, we did, yeah, we're doing it. Go for it. You were in the game against them, and they oh, were playing solo. No, no, no. They, they see each other. It's a yeah. screaming service called yeah. Jester so like Game. Oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. so, 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 you can just go through your phone and your phone attached to phone not involved. I'm yeah. charging it now. No, it uh, goes from there to our iPad and to Jester Game. Game. <laughs> the guy just sits, he's just waiting. The GoPro's a little quirky. Well, that's kind of fun. Catch up on a little bit. Yeah, we can. That's a fun. Well, I'm glad he got to pitch at least a little bit against him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, all, those, all those guys are going to see him. Still see him. Yeah, except maybe. Jack, Rose, um, yes, Jack Rosenberger up from the uh, JV getting a start today. Yeah, I mean, don't bring sunglasses. He takes a fastball with a tail on the outside corner for a strike. <laughs> New pitcher number 22 is Braden Fidgen for the Panthers. That ball is a little too far inside, even the count at one ball, or one strike. Swing foul with the plate. Mostly from, yeah, the Grinnell one has three angles actually, but the best one is like high up on the front, they've got something on the front. Yeah, the 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 but they've got one from the front. Yeah. <laughs> There's one behind first base, but they really use it. And the problem is, they have to stick around. Comes a one, two, two the timeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got the behind the pitcher here, and then somebody comes and says, Oh, it's in the ball, it's in the ball, it's in the ball, it's in the ball. And you sit back of the guy sliding in the second place. You can't get off the box and you forget. The other one, the other one. There's a ground ball foul down in first base. We can look at the, uh, it's like, it's one was like this video. video. No, but I, in that first game, I know he was sitting short-handed. And I think he was uh, one of the ones that he got really good. Comes a one two to Jacko. Ball is, oh, a line drive caught by the shortstop. Nice at bat by the young man. Back to the top of the order, Hayden Deary up. Ground it out to the first baseman. First at bat. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball dropped under his bat. 
<laughs> All in one, this is what's going on. Right. 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 Low and wide. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a home run. That was his. Uh, that was uh, a that was a fun and nice party on the field. Yeah, that's the view. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Ground ball out to short, taken there, throw across the diamond, double clutch. And he barely gets him on the 6 3 put in. Two up, two down. Dang. I can't stay very uh, Well, I'm pretty busy. Uh, uh, well, I'm actually on my way to pick up Eli. It's cool at the airport, but I thought I'd stop off for a little while. Yeah, he comes back next Thursday. Eli tonight, Charlie tomorrow. Well, then he's going. Uh, he's visiting a school and taking a transfer to and then tomorrow he's going down to SoCal at the Road Trip with his brother's trip. Sebastian Davidson, the plate, tripled his first time up and scored balls low and scored the Lions only run or the only run of the game so far on a wild pitch uh, off the arm of Grant Cunningham. Takes a ball, one ball, no strike. So we need to keep busy. Yeah, I got one more year. I've been doing my clinical with Harvard Group today, as you can say. I really enjoy what you're working on. Outside corner. Any urology patients up there? Well, one ball, one strike. I was on Fort West, this is rehab, so I had a guy who was shot in the neck, a guy who fell off the ladder and broke his neck, another guy who fell off the ladder and broke his neck, and a guy who, um... And that ball gets wide. The guy that's quite really bad spine. Oh, 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 Come to two one. Kind of checked his swing, took a strike. Two and two. Breaking ball hit hard down the right field line. Foul. Two and two. Come to wind the pitch. Ball hit out in the right center field. Center fielder closing on it and takes it into the third out. Three up, three down for the Lions, the bottom of the third. Coming to the top of the fourth here at Whitman Middle School. Lions one, Panthers nothing. I know that, I don't understand. Moody finished his warm-up tosses and ready to go back to work. Number three hitter Jaden Holloway takes a strike. 
Holloway fly down to center field for the second out of the first inning. One ball, one strike to Holloway. Check swing out in front. Moody picks it up. Easy toss over to Brandon at first on the one three put out. One up, one down. And Porter coming to the plate. Porter, the third out of the first inning, flew out to right field. Go, Ben. Swung at a high fastball. Fouling away. Tips the curveball over towards the Panthers dugout. Lazar retrieves it. We're ready to go again on 0 2 and count uh, with the 0 2 count to Ben Porter. Breaking ball fouled towards the other dugout. Still 0 and 2. Yeah. And that's it over the shortstop head into left center field. And Porter's going to dig it for second and going to get there with a stand up double. Double by Ben Porter brings Alex Howard to the plate with the tying run in scoring position. Chopper out there, picked up by the third baseman, checks the runner back and throws across the tall Quinn Brennan and reaches up to bring that one down. 5-3 on the put out there, two down with the runner still out there at second base. Brings up number 15, Cunningham stayed in the game here. Inside to Cunningham. Swing on this. And Lazar could not handle that pitch, and it's going to be a pass ball, and the runner will make it down to second base, uh, third base, I should say. So runner at third now, two down, two balls, no strikes to Cunningham. Don't know if Lazar got crossed up on that pitch or not, but here comes the next one. Swing and a miss. Uh, breaking ball. That sun is coming in directly from left field. So here comes a pitch. Way high. That one got away from Moody. 
three and one. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Uh, apparently it was three and two. And he is struck out. And catcher dropped the third strike, picks it up, throws it down. That scored as a K2-3 put out to bring the inning to a close. Had one hit, no runs, no errors, one man left. Coming to the bottom of the fourth, one nothing Lions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nine, yeah. Nine players. So, so yeah, it's a weird... He is serving as both the pitcher and the DH. Okay. When that happens, their team can choose to substitute him either on defense or on offense without necessarily having to pull him out of the other game. Okay. You're only allowed to do that with one batter. One position? Mm -hmm. one, 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 Doesn't one, have one. to be pitcher most often. Okay, because one person, one spot in one line. Yep, exactly. Okay. It's, a, it's a weird rule. Uh, I'll tell you. Yeah. Comes a wine in the pitch. Breaking ball goes wide to Maple Moody leading off. One ball, no strikes. Moody walked on a 3-1 pitch at his turn in the top in the first inning. That ball bounces and oh are two balls and no strikes to Moody. Yeah, it's it's a weird rule. You can talk about that when it's like when we have a big gap. Ball is hit hard, long, and foul down the left field line. Two balls, one strike. Hard ground ball to second, scooped up there. Toss across. One up, one down. Brings James Lazar to the plate. Flew out to right field for the second out of the first inning. Ball is fouled on a play off to the right. <laughs> Swing and miss at a high breaking ball. 0 oh and 2. Lions have but the one hit and the one run thus far. Ball is low. Come to pitch. Swing and a miss. Two down. Bryce Guyon takes a strike. 
Guyon was put out on a first baseman to the pitcher exchange for the third out of the Lions first inning comes the next pitch and bouncing up and off the catcher's glove and off the backstop here one ball one strike Come the pitch. Out. Two balls, one strike to Bryce Guyon. So each team with a hit, the Lions have a run. And that one's too wide. Three and one to Guyon. Um, ball four, and Guyon trots on down to first base. If you're blocking it solid already, you don't you just let him go and save your knees. If it's, if it's in grain, Seattle Hey, we got a mound visit here by the uh, prep coach. First, ball is up to Quinn Brannon. That's the fifth straight ball off the arm of Frigian. And another. Two balls, no strikes to Brandon Runner at first, two down. There's a strike. Toss over to get guy in back. Breaking ball finds the corner, even the count, two and two, two balls, two strikes. Two outs, one on, bottom of the fourth, one nothing line, if you're just joining us. Round ball foul. Oh my god, Ball is high, runner goes, throw down. And he is out. Is it? Is it? 
So Brannon on that full count will get to start off the lead off the bottom of the fifth as Bryce Guyon is caught stealing. Here is Zach Harding leading off. Hit into a 5 4 fielder's choice in the second inning. Moody's first pitch is a strike to Harding. Breaking ball drops short, even the count, one and one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. He's starting to over rotate too much for a part of that kind of there's the chopper after the first baseman. It's going to be a race to the bag, and Brandon wins it with those long legs. <laughs> Pitch, swinging and a miss at a high fastball by Jack Cahill, the Panthers catcher. He hit a comeback to the pitcher for the last out of the second inning. And there, have, there is the extra high fastball we've been seeing quite a few of today. And there is a backstop here that would have gotten me in the knee. Swing and a foul back. One one. Breaking ball popped high on the infield. Sebastian David calls everyone off. The ball settles into his glove for the second out of the inning. <laughs> two up, two down. Number nine hitter Carson Teese. Struck out swinging, leading off the top of the third. Breaking ball softly drops into Lazard. The pitch up and away. One ball, one strike. Moody <laughs> pitch is low and away. Two balls, one strike. Hard ground ball out to Jack Rosenberger, and that inning is in the book. That top half of the inning is in the book. 4-3 put out, 3 up, 3 down. 
Coming to the bottom of the fifth, still 1-0 Lakeside Lions over the Seattle Prep Panthers. I saw you at the uh, West Seattle game. I was like, man, this guy's got to I mean, this, this is going to be me, but I don't know how to keep score. So. <laughs> Here we go. Brandon back to the plate. He was up there with a full count in the last half inning. Uh, the Lions were batting, and the man ahead of him, Bryce Guyon, was got down trying to swipe a bag. Strike call. One on one. Quinn Brandon calls. Ask for a timeout, and it is granted. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Breaking ball caught him looking. He knew it. Stood there, thought about it for a second, and made his departure. One up, one down. Right call to Nathan Williams. Williams steps on the box. The last Ball. Even the count. One one. Fastball hit high on the left side. Third baseman's giving it a look. It's going to be hot by the third baseman. <laughs> Looked like it was going to be out of play, but the uh, it uh, arced back in, and the third baseman put it in his glove. Two up, two down. Bring up the number eight hitter, Shwai Shwai Lee. Uh, looking for the last down of the second inning. And that one's in the right field, and the right fielder closes on it, puts it away, and the fifth inning's in the books. Coming to the top of the six here at Whitman Middle School. one nothing Lakeside Lions over the Seattle Prep Panthers. We just have position changes, but you have a new pitcher as a fielder. Okay. What are you in? Six or seven? Top six. Top six? Top six. Are we doing live stream too? Yeah, yeah. Where, 
right there. When you're talking to it right now. People can hear you. You want to say hi? Oh, let's go next time. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, when he said position changes? Just the position change. The big one is the pitcher. Right. So uh, Nathan is now. Oh, wait, that's not Nathan. Number 12? Number 12. That's us. Yeah, yeah. There, it's a position change for us. Oh, he was just letting us know. Okay, that's uh, Sebastian. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. okay, Sebastian coming in the pitch here. Top six. One. And nothing else changed. Well, Maple went over the first. So, oh, yeah. Then never mind. Jim. Yeah, then everybody shifted because okay. Wayne is probably now in the outfield. Okay. Uh, yeah, how me get a look on that, dude? Let's see. Yeah, uh, let me finish this and then I'll sure. get on it. Okay, let's see. I'm just letting everybody know what it was pitching. Yeah, Brandon stands out with it. Now that's number seven right here. I'm going. I know it's so let's see, who's 21? Because they're playing short. 21 is Hayden. So Hayden's at short. Okay. Nathan is now at third. Number 13. Okay. I think he, he wasn't there before. Quinn is in right. I can see Quinn in right. He's number 22 out there. Right there. Yeah, I'm positive. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think Bryce is still in center. And uh, who's that lead in left? Number 10, Shwai Shwai. Yeah, so Shwai Shwai did. Shwai Shwai still in left? Yep. Two! Okay, so the Lions reshuffled the deck here defensively. Move some people around. Sebastian David to the mound, relieving Maple Moody, who's playing over at first base. Quinn Brandon moves down to right field. Nathan Williams over to third base, and Hayden Derry to shortstop. I think everyone else stayed the same. We're ready to go, top six, top six here. And David will be facing the one, two, three hitters for the Panthers. Here we go. Oh, goes the sound of the glove. It looked like it hit him. I thought so too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just an odd sounding hit there. Uh, perhaps hit the catcher's glove, maybe the umpire's shoulder pad. But it's an inside ball. Ground ball out to second. Rosenberger takes it in, flips to first. One up, one down. Let's go, Reed. Reed Boyd to the plate. He's 0 for 1, hit by pitch, and struck out. Comes the pitch. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. The pitch. The nice pitch. looking curveball. David likes to work from the stretch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it should be. Just a game wide. Yeah. Okay. Just a game wide. Let's go, Rebo. Thank you. It'll be available right now. Come okay. BO2. Breaking ball hit hard in the right field down the line. Is that going to stay fair? It's a fair ball. Extra bases. For Boyd, he's going to roll into second with a one-out stand-up double. Second hit for the Panthers puts the tying run into scoring position. Brings up Jaden Holloway, hard-hitting number three hitter for the Panthers. 0 for 2 today, flew out to center field and get a 
comeback on a check swing. He's looking to cash in now to get the Panthers even or more. He did hit, hit a big home run against the Lions on Monday. David asked for timeout to talk with his catcher, make sure they're on the same page. Okay. He's fantastic. Check of the runner. Here comes the pitch. Bounces in. Good stop by Lazar. No, 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 I figured I figured I Boyd over to third base. Umpire didn't keep it. He's been doing that move the whole time. He does that little bounce every time. Somebody's gonna love that. Yeah, I can't do it. He's been doing that. He's been doing that the whole time. Not the whole game. Just the game. He does this little. You know about doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Kellen's talking with him about it. So that has that has that is his movement. I think that's yeah, what that's, third, that's, that's what uh, uh, Sundin is. Coach Sundin is talking to him about. Um, that has been part of Sebastian David's move the whole time. So now he's got to be a little more careful. In what to this point has been a natural movement for him. So adjusting on the fly is the challenge right now. He stays still and steps on. That move just Field's in for a play at the plate. Here comes the pitch. Inside to Holloway. Two balls, no strikes. And Coach Jack Roger wants to go out and calm down his pitcher. And he calls the infield in. I, it, I'm curious because I'll have to actually watch this. But what was he doing? The problem is if, if he comes here and stops and then does it, that's definitely. He called it a double stop, and I think he's kind of, he's kind of does this like rocking thing, and it was more exaggerated on that uh, on that pitch yeah. from what I saw. Because as long as as long as there's no stop to the motion and it's fluid, he can do whatever he wants until the stop. Step, yeah. But if that momentary stop, if he stops at all, that's that's where it's got to be. Two balls, no strikes, and we're ready to go again after that timeout. As you can imagine, the prep bench is loud. Here comes the 2-0 pitch to Holloway. Strike call with a fastball at the knees. One out, one on, runner to third. Lions trying to hang on to that one nothing lead late in the game here. Top of the sixth. Breaking ball. Yeah, 
Ball four, runner gets away from the catcher, but stays out in front of the plate. Now watch out for the double steal now. Lions pulled this off against uh, the Panthers on Monday. Sent the runner at second. Kind of taking his time getting down there. The catcher threw down and on the play, Maple Moody scored with a head for a slide. See if the Panthers are going to try and return the favor today. Then Porter takes the ball. They must just have a pass. I gave up on it. I was like, that's pretty good. You guys got to go. Okay. Well, two is high. Two balls, no strikes to Porter. Porter has the Panthers' other hit, both doubles. David shaking out his arm out there. Comes the 2-0. Swing and a miss and inside fastball. Two balls, one strike. Runner goes, comes a pitch. Ball gets away. Oh, no, 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 no. Good decision. Let's go, Ben, do a job. David squeezing that ball a little too hard, maybe. Yeah. One pitch here. Three balls, one strike. Time run at third. Go ahead, run at second. Boom, come on. Comes a 3 1. Foul back, counts. Be ready to hit. Stop calling timeout. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. He'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. Walk would load the bases. The strikeout will be a big out for the Lions. Unless something hit hard at one of the pulled in infielders, the runner will be heading for home, you would think. Here comes the 3 2. Ball four, the bases are going to be loaded. Double and back to back walks. One down. That's going to pick up two. And on that single, two runs come in and the Seattle Prep Panthers take a two-run lead here, in the, uh, a one-run lead, a two-to-one lead in the top of the sixth. Hayden Deary, formerly third baseman. Oh, 
Grant Cunningham hits the ball foul along the first baseline. Maple Moody there makes the catch. Nice play up against the fence. Keeps the runner at second base. Two down. Back Harding hits the ball out to the shortstop. He shuffles it over to the second baseman for the 6-4 fielder's choice. And the inning comes to a close, but not before the Seattle Prep Panthers strike. A double, two walks, and a single bring in the tying and go-ahead run. We're coming to the bottom of the sixth inning here at Whitman Middle School with the Seattle Prep Panthers leading for the first time in the game here and the Seattle and the uh, Lakeside Lions coming to bat trying to get back even or ahead. Thanks for joining us. You batted around? No, 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 never mind. No, 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 I was way off. I just saw these two hitters, one batter batted in both this inning and the last. Yeah, yeah, because of the uh, the cost Jack Rosenberger leading off the bottom of the six for the Lions. Comes the pitch. Ball is away. Jacko hit a line drive to the shortstop. And it's first to bat. Next pitch is a strike. One ball, one strike to Rosenberger. One to one one. Foul off the catcher's helmet and the screen here. One ball, two strikes to Rosenberger. Comes the line the pitch. And there's a chopper. Catcher's going to take it. Underhanded to the first baseman. One up, one down. Brings us to the top of the order. Hayden Deary now playing shortstop. Breaking ball a little too far inside. One and oh. Popped high on the right side. Looks like that's going to stay in play. First baseman, Cam Sundridge, called off by the second baseman, who then stumbles and lets the ball drop. First baseman, well, he had that one. And consequently, Aiden Derry is still alive. Good news for the Lions. Want to keep a big batter up there. Comes the line the pitch. And there's a ground ball out to third. Steps back, waits on the throw across the diamond. 
Ball gets away from him, and Gary is just going to stay there at first base. We got a base runner here on the E5. Brings up Sebastian David. Started the game at short and is on the mound for the Lions now. Base runner and batter take a look at third base coach Kellen Sundin. For what they want to try and do with this potential tying runner over there at first base. Gary's got wheels. David got a bat. Comes the pitch. Up and in for a ball. Toss over to get the runner back. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Ball got away from the first baseman, not quite far enough for Deary to advance. They counted one ball to Deary. I'm sorry, two to uh, David. Popped high on the infield. That's the second baseman's ball. Moody. Ball is outside. Moody looking for something big here. Got to get Derry all the way around with that tying run. Also, we get Derry back. I think the kid took a big turn of second and threw behind him. Check swing, pulls the bat back, takes a ball. Here we go! Oh! Field umpire on the, on the double check says he offered. He should never ask me that. Good thing I have an eraser. Come on. <laughs> And Gio one to Moody. Evens the count. Throw down to get Derry back. I didn't. Watch the block. No hesitation there. Let's go. I think he said two one there. Count blue. Three one. He's saying three one. Thank you. Thank you. Comes a three one pitch. Outside corner. Brings the count full. If it is indeed full, the runner will be off on the pitch. Anything in the gap could score a speedy Derry. Here it comes. There he goes. Ball's hit. A long drive, diving catch by the third baseman. Had that gotten by him, Derry might have scored, but. Did not happen, so we come to the top of the seventh year with the Seattle Prep Panthers holding a slim two to one lead over the Lakeside Lions at Whitman Middle School. Yeah. 
Ready to go, top of the sack, uh, top of the seventh, number 10, Jack Cahill, the Panthers catcher, 0 for 2 in the afternoon, comes to the plate. He is the number 8 hitter. Takes the ball inside. That said, David was looking for the last pitch, even to count at 1 1. <laughs> Strike on the outside corner, inside, outside. One ball, two strikes. David facing the 8-9-1 hitters here in the top of the seven. Comes the pitch. Low. Evens the count at two and two. Breaking ball, chopped out to short, picked up there by Deary, tossed across, one up, one down. Swing and miss, an inside fastball that Carson Teese could not catch up with. No balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, an outside fastball. Setting up on the outside corner is Lazar. Here comes the pitch. Oh. Strike three, call. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the order. Hunter Dowdy. 0 for 3, looking to get on the hit parade today. Ball is inside. I guess we couldn't really call it a parade. The Panthers have three hits. <laughs> Comes a pitch. 
Striking the bottom of the zone. <laughs> Ball is fouled on a play. One ball, two strikes advantage. David, two out here, top of the seven. Lions want to get off the field and into the dugout and try and get a couple of runs. One to keep playing and two to go home with another win in their pocket. They picked up the win last Monday, which is the one that counts. That's the one for the division, North Division standings. Ball is fouled on a play. Still one and two. Here it comes. Yes. Nice piece of hit hard in the right field. And Brandon waits for a couple hops to pick it up. We have a two ounce single here by Hunter Dowdy that's going to bring Reed Boyd to the plate. Boyd doubled his last time up. He would like to repeat that. Check of the runner, two down here, top of the second. Strike on the outside corner to Boyd. Boyd hit that double on an 0-2 pitch. And he fouls that pitch back. He's in the hole again, 0-2. Oh but that didn't mean a lot the last time. David just needs to stay away from the heart of the plate. Looks like Nathan Williams is coming back from the bullpen. Getting loose just in case we do get tight and go into extras. Here comes the pitch. Ball high. Throw down to second. Not going to be in time. Wild pitch and an insurance run. Moves on into second. Count as one ball, two strikes to Boyd. <laughs> Line drive to Hayden Deary short. That will bring the top of the seventh to the close. Lions exit the field, head for the dugout, pick up the bats, and are looking to get ahead, or to, to get even, or to get ahead and go home. And for the Lions, we will be seeing the four, five, six hitters, James Lazar, Bryce Guyon, and Quinn Brannon. Have a new pitcher on the mound. We have a new pitcher, but it's just a defensive shift. Yep. Yeah, same thing as what we did. New pitcher number five is Tyler Heinen, if I said that name correctly. Um, where am I going to put him, Thomas? So where do I put him? Oh, he's not in. He's just pitching. He's, nothing changes. Cunningham. Well, he's uh, Cunningham stand in. Yeah, cut, well, it wasn't Cunningham anymore. It was uh, someone else. Right. But this new guy is just a defensive substitution. They said so. I think he's his number is five. 
Yeah. So he is the one part of Grant Cunningham. Cunningham is still the DH. Right. Okay. I can help you write it because this is a weird one. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that after. The game. Sure. Just about. And the baseball park is always there. dropping Not always. They, I mean, they try. They, they try and have an idea, but it, at parks like this, it just. Here we go. I knew it was going Here we go. Bottom seven. Lazar at the plate. Comes the pitch. Ball in high. Again, pitcher is. Number five, Tyler Heinen. That one finds the outside corner. One on one. Quinn Branagh to the plate, he can handle the bat. 
The bunt, swing away. Whatever they need. Lions might put on a little hit and run. Fastball taken for a strike. Stays in front of the catcher runner, cannot advance. Count is even at one one. Sometimes the players make that noise down there. Long look at the runner. He's leaning, looking like he wants to do something. Here comes the pitch. Pitch is taken high, threw down by the catcher to first base. Runner dives back in. Two balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike. Goes the runner. Ball is popped up. Runner's gonna have to retreat, retreat and do it quickly. Pop out to the third baseman for the second out, and that brings up Nathan Williams. So the Lions one run is unearned. Cross over to get that runner back. Center field gap, left field is closing, and he's going to make the catch, and the ball game is over. The Seattle Fred Panthers come back with two runs in the top of the sixth inning to take a 2 1 lead and the victory here to end their time together this year in this week long doubleheader. The totals for the Victorious Seattle Pratt Panthers are three runs, two hits, and one error. 
the Lakeside Lions have one hit, one run, and no errors. I don't know. We'll see you again if you go break off or something. Thanks for joining us today here at Whitman Middle School for this exciting, closely played game. Not a hit parade, not a barn burner, but a squeaker. Total of four hits and three runs. So enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Roman out. Yeah, he's over here.